42,520. That is the most XP we've gotten in a single kill so far with this base. It's amazing. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG. This is the Nightmare Insane series. Insane Nightmare series. Both. <laughs> and uh, it is uh, Horde 77. We have a few hours before night, so I thought maybe what we'd do is go get the fat loots out of that house and kick the shit out of the Zeke's in there. Um, as far as the base goes, just a couple of minor changes uh, since the last time. Uh, so basically... This entire floor now is upgraded to steel. I didn't have that done before. Um, just to give a, our own little cage here some more strength. So that's uh, been changed. And then a couple things down below here. If we come all the way down to the very bottom. I added in uh, a couple of loot chests here. Of course, we'll have, um, we'll have Roberta with us now too. So we, she can also carry loot, you know, when we're down here getting bags. Um, I carved out another um, row all the way around here so I could get behind here to repair, you know, any of those steel blocks that get kind of damaged, you know, through the wall. Um, however, I didn't really notice that, that actually happened. So, but, you know, if they do happen to break one of the inner blocks at some point, then we can repair it. And I added a third um, vault door here. So yeah, those are the changes to the base. Okay, so let's close these up. And we should be ready to uh, rock and roll. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. I'm just gonna turn this on now. Um, so that way I don't forget. And I've got extra repair materials in here that I'm just going to keep in there. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn this on now. It'll expend a little more fuel, but it will it's not a big deal. Because what would be a big deal is if I forgot to turn that on. And I can see myself doing that. So we're finished down below here. So we can actually just seal this up. So let's grab our dirt blocks here. Roberta's out. Okay. And by sealing this up, it basically there's you know the zombies don't see that as a as a path down to us. Um, at least it seems to work that way. Uh, this is all the stuff we have for the Horde Knight ready to go. Uh, we've got our epic rocket launcher, and I made a total of 20 rocket frags. There's one in the chamber here. I made four learning elixirs that we're gonna have this time that we didn't have last time. We have five Atom Junkies, and we maxed out, or no, we didn't max out, but we got to level four on, uh, whatchamacallit, let's see, Fortitude, Iron Gut. And so that gives us um, buffs basically last 40% longer. So, yeah, I think we're we're in good shape, good to go. Oh, we have a point, too. Um, what do I want to put that point into? I'm not really sure, actually. Um... Let's see. We were look. Uh, we were actually doing some stuff in agility, weren't we? Yeah. Let's get agility up to five so we can get hidden strike up to three. Okay. So when we start getting points tonight, we can do that. Uh, I don't care about from the shadows anymore. I wouldn't mind getting run and gun archery, and eventually I'd like to do some stuff with pistols too, just because I like the pistols in the game. Um, but archery is more important for this particular build because we do use our crossbow for silent, you know, sneak shots. So, yeah, I think we'll focus mostly on agility. Uh, we got strength already maxed out. We've got perception already maxed out. Um, maxing out fortitude wouldn't be a bad idea, except for that we don't really have... Um, we don't really have a way to keep it maxed out all the time unless we swapped out our perception... Uh, implant, which I don't want to do because I want to keep perception maxed out all the time too for the for the skills that we're using there. So, I mean, we could we could just get fortitude all the way up to ten naturally, and then we could get maxed out machine gunner, maxed out pain tolerance, maxed out healing, maxed out iron gut. 
Well, I mean, there's a lot of good reasons to do that. So we'll, we'll see how things go. But I think for tonight, we're going to focus on agility, at least with the, with, uh, yeah, probably for all of the points we get. Because I want to get, uh, I want to get hidden strike to three, archery to three, and run and gun to three. And then after that, we'll kind of see where we are. Okay, so we have a little bit of time here. Let's go ahead and uh, just do this house randomly. And I'm actually going to pull up to the roof and start there because that's where the loot is. And then we can just kind of work our way down. So just trying to decide where we want to start this process. This is a normally a, yeah, this is normally a tier four house. Can't quite get up there. Could even maybe consider putting a third point into parkour, but the problem with too much parkour is that it can be detrimental because then you jump too high and you miss stuff and all that, you know? So, I don't know. Uh, we're going to need to come out a block here. Get up here. One of you guys were telling me in the comments that uh, if you build a horde base over a POI like this, then you can get even higher level loot, which is an interesting concept that I had never really, you know, had never really occurred to me. Where, where are we going? Isn't there supposed to be a place where we can go inside the attic? Um, well, here, let's just do this. Let's get all the way to the top and punch a hole through and see what's down there. I want to see if we can get a couple sneak shots off because there's usually a pretty big group of mean Zeeks up here in this attic. But I can't... Get a beat on anybody from here. Okay, there's... There's somebody right there. That's a military guy. Can we jump all the way... Yeah, we can jump all the way back off of this. If we need to. Alright, well, let's pop him anyways. How many people's attentions did we get? Zombie peoples. Let's try to. I just want to wake him up so we can eliminate him. Uh, you know what? Screw this. Let's just go. Do I have a fort bites on me? I don't. All right. We got this. Alright, come at me, bros. Oh, look at those guys down there. Um, I left all of my explosives down below. Of course I did. can't believe they're not waking up. That's crazy. Oh, shit. He woke up. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have here. Okay. Are we done? Oh yeah, we are done with medical. All right, nice. I guess I didn't notice that when it happened. All right, let's see what's inside of here. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice. I, I'll probably never use it because I prefer the crossbow, but we can fix it up and sell it. Um, and oh, we finally get the helmet lod, uh, helmet light mod schematic, like after all this time. But you know, we've gotten plenty of helmet lights, so it's not wasn't really a big deal. It's kind of funny though. Okay. Um. Well, we got some Zeeks over here. We can kill just for the halibut. Two. Ooh, I think we got a, a double pin there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, not really anything else here. All right, well, let's go ahead and harvest some resources. Might as well, um, because I don't really have a, a reason to go back to the base before Horde Night, and it's getting too late to do that anyway. So we'll just... I have some resources. Kill a few more Zeeks as we work our way back down. Um, here is a trash pile. But I don't want any of that stuff. Nice stained glass window. So I'm wondering... Uh, I think the last two Horde Knights at this base, I got a total of six skill points i wonder what will happen tonight because you know the higher you get the harder it becomes to get those points i wonder if we'll keep you know if we get another six um yeah i guess we'll take that stuff be curious to see how it goes grab this um yeah i will take that i don't care about the sand though all right, let's just go down and kill some more Zombadoos. Probably somebody in this closet. Yep. Nope, don't want that stuff. Vehicle book. Not that it matters now. We're done with vehicles. We'll rate it anyway for the hell of it, but... No longer need that. Grab you. Uh, let's see here. Let's just scrap you. I'm not looting dirty water anymore. I've got an abundance of clean water at the house, so not worth it. Um, let's just start consuming magazines that we've already read, just because they're not worth taking up an inventory spot slot for twenty-two coin. If it's um, a skill book, though, you know, that's probably worth hanging on to. But if it's a magazine, we're just going to start consuming him. Um, and I don't even care about, you know, having my chest armor on for that because, here again, we don't really need it any longer. Ooh. I accidentally opened the door. Yeah, there we go. Some legendaries. Um, that and those for selling. Let's go ahead and hit that bed. Nope, don't need hops. We've got a lot of hops. But uh, cloth is one of the resources I've just had a really hard time keeping in quantity because, you know, we use it for... Uh, Molotovs and making armor and all kinds of things.
That's the floor that breaks out from underneath you, I think. Okay, so we'll read this and we'll sell that. Isn't there Zeke's down here when you fall down? Ah, fuck it. Let's go. Oh, maybe not. Thought there was oh, yeah. Talk about spawning right in front of your eyes. I hear one more. Okay, let's get this first. Scrap those. I don't know if you guys noticed my note in the previous episode, but I realized after I had already done it and when I was editing that this damn epic sniper rifle does less damage than the blue one. Now, granted, it has more range and more durability and one more in the chamber, but who gives a fuck about that stuff compared to, to damage? And especially, like, it's like over seven points of damage. So it really pissed me off when I realized that. Because, you know, it's very expensive to make those damn things. And I don't think there should be any scenario where you go to all the effort and expense, you know, whatever, to, to make an epic weapon and have a blue looted weapon still be better than it in its main its main role, which in, in the in this case, damage, right? Uh, so anyway, this kind of irritated me, but whatever. It is what it is, I guess. Uh, we could turn you guys into duct tape. Um, I don't want 81 oil shale. Okay. That's just that room there. Goes up to there. We are, yeah, we want this because we have a ton more crop plots to make. Oh my god, look how high up these curtains go. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's all, I'm not going to get all of them. Um, grab this, and this, and this. Hello there, Feral White. Nice, nice little jig you're doing there. Um, is there supposed to be? Yeah, we're supposed to be able to move through here. Is there going to be buzzards out here? No, I guess not. See, this is what I'm talking about. Where parkour can be a pain in the ass. Another feral white. What's that stupid ducking down thing? Hate that. Or cloth, nice. You guys coming to the door? There we go. Right there. So we go in the kitchen next. No Zeke's in here, huh? Wow, look at all that stuff. Um, this we can eat now. I mean, that's useful, but I guess it's going to be... Let's see. Let's take the 
spear. I uh, don't want the iron, so we'll take the, I guess we'll take the chrysanthemum. Don't think I want to get rid of anything else. Chicken soup, uh, that is a recipe item, yeah. Uh, we'll leave those there. We'll have room for coffee. Um, let's just eat that. Let's eat that. We're actually kind of hungry. I do have three meat stews on me, though. Um, that we definitely want to save for shepherd's pie. 22 gasoline isn't doing jack shit for us. Let's get rid of it. Uh, we want the glue. And uh, we'll take that paper back. I uh, guess we can eat those, actually. We get two food, but two food's better than zero food. There's a big mama. She's going to be kind enough to bring us our bolt back. All right. Let's get some more cloth here. There's usually a couple Zeeks in this room. Okay. Get me my bolts back. Let's just bust that door open so we can get out of here. It's getting close. In fact, I think we're I think we're done here. Let's just grab this stuff and then go. Cause I want a little bit of time to just get all my shit together and all that. So uh, I'm not gonna take that. Not gonna take that. Okay. Cool. Uh, I don't have room for that stuff. Anybody else? Okay. Spider. Get away from my truck. What are you doing? I'm over here. There you go. Okay. Let's put all of this shit in here. I want to keep the medical stuff with me. And... We don't need uh, lockpicks on the Horde Knight. And we don't need this or that. Um, I, I, I want to keep my melee weapon with me. And I think I want to keep blocks with me too. Just because you never know. We don't need our pick or our axe. Um, I do want to keep this extra ammo with me. Uh, we won't need the bolts. So just switch all that up to there. Uh, let's put this in the number two slot. I don't believe I have anything else in here that we that we need. Okay, so I'm going to actually take this up the road a little bit further. Let's take it up to about here. That way it's far enough out of the way that zombies won't spawn and then run into it. Dog over there. Okay. Let's grab all of our stuff. And get ourselves into position. Assume the position. Um, oh shit, I didn't mean to... God damn it. I don't need the shovel and the dirt block. There. 
Don't need that taking up space because we're going to need all the space we can get when the loot bags. But, you know, with Roberta the robotic drone and those two crates down there, that's actually not really an issue either. Okay, so let's see. Um, we will put the rocket launcher in the th number three slot. Grenades can go there. Molotovs can go there. And uh, why don't we put Atom Junkies here? Just so I can take keep you know keep up on them. But we also want to keep up on learning Elixir too. I won't do, you know, Fort Bites or Recog unless we need them. If I do start using, you know, my gun, I'll maybe pop a Recog. But I'm not planning on that. I just have this ammo just in case <laughs> something goes wrong, right? So as far as our armor goes, we are wearing um, the... <coughs> Excuse me. Nerd goggles. You know what? I need to make an epic pair of these, actually. Not right now, of course, but for the next time. Yeah. And I'm still looking for another perception mod, which I haven't found yet. I've checked the traders nearby, but I haven't come across it. Because this is actually the one that I keep in my normal helmet, but I had to pull it out for tonight. So, yeah. There we are. Uh, we are about two-thirds of the way to the next level. Uh, but we don't have any points at the moment, so... Um, like we talked about earlier, the plan is going to be to get Hidden Strike to three, Archery to three, Run and Gun to, well, we got to get Agility all the way to seven for that. So we might do that. We might get Agility all the way to seven so we can get this maxed out. And then that would also let us get Archery four and Hidden Strike four, two. And then, you know, even putting some points into pistols if we want to. So I think that's the plan. And then after that, uh, we might just go ahead and go back to Fortitude and just max Fortitude all the way out. And then that way we don't have to have any kind of an add-on for it. Um, and then, you know, I mean, I haven't done much at all in Intellect, but what I'd be interested in at this point in time is Daring Adventurer and Physician. We have all the workbenches. We have all the vehicles. Um, it wouldn't hurt to throw a point or three into here either because lock picking is a, an exercise in futility. Or not, I'm sorry, <laughs> not futility, frustration. Um, without that, but that, you know, these intellect things are, are pretty low on my priority list at this point. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you in just a couple of minutes and we will get this Horde Night started. Alrighty, here we go. Horde 77. We're going to follow the same MO as last time. We're going to let a bunch of them build up first. And then we're going to blow the shit out of them. And hopefully we don't get a bunch of um, buzzards tonight. We didn't get any last time, but the night before we got way too many. Um, we will probably get demolishers, and I hope that they come later, so that way we have a chance to get their bags. Okay. Let's drop four nades. Let's take this. Learning elixir. Atom junkies. And light them up. Thirty-three thousand. Okay, well, fair enough. That's not an absolutely astonishing amount, but it is. It's pretty good. It's kind of hoping we'd get. Uh, well, actually, it is a good amount, but I was kind of hoping we'd get a little more, maybe closer to forty. But we'll see. We didn't have any really high, like nasty zombies down there. Well, like as in demolishers. So that probably had something to do with it. Let's just do grenades for now, and we'll hold off on our rocket launchers until hopefully later when demos come. Wow, shit. <laughs> we got more. We got more without the rocket launcher that time. 
That's amazing. And we are are almost to the next level. Just a sliver away. Okay, let's do the next one. Oh, I'm being silly. I'm not throwing these down. Too many things for me to remember. Let them get softened up a little bit more. I need to to test and see how long a thrown an unlit grenade will last on the on the ground. Um, in case you know, maybe they've changed that from what it used to be. I think it only used to last for what 15, 10, 15 seconds or something. I don't remember for sure. And we have six minutes on our buff, so we need to be cognizant of that as well. That is the most XP we've gotten in a single kill so far with this base. It's amazing. thousand on that one uh, 
I think that's it. Let's just throw one more down there. Yep, that's it. Okay. Let's get down there quick and see if we can get those orange bags before they despawn. Uh, where are we at right here? I should probably just keep a steel shovel in here because I've got plenty. Keep finding blue steel shovels. One orange bag here. And that's it. Oh, nope, there's another one. Well, okay. Not the best loot in the world, but not too bad. Uh, let's give you all of the ammo stuff and um, all of the extra medical stuff. I did put that cargo um, mod on the drone too. Let's just drink that and give you that. Okay. All right, let's loot, see what we get. Got a, a next level Roberta. Our current Roberta is a, a is green. So those were a couple of pretty nice uh, things to loot. Another auger. Another auger. Another jeez. Another auger. Wow. Another auger. Impact driver. All right. Okay, so anything that's a magazine that we've already read, we're going to read it now. I don't give a shit about spears, so I'm going to read those. Uh, that's uh, burst mod schematic. Um, I don't give a shit about vehicles. Wiring I do give a shit about. Fists I don't give a shit about. Tactical I do because we're still, you know, we can't make the epic M60. I care about handguns. Uh, okay, so that's all for that. Let's eat this, by the way. We didn't put anything in there. And then we can read this, that, and those. Uh, don't care about clubs. I'm just going to read those, too. These I more, mostly care about. Okay. Let's have another one of those. All right, so we got a total of three augers and one chainsaw and one impact driver. Uh, nerd gloves, intellect weapon damage, not interested. We'll scrap those. If I ever do, batons, I'll make epic of those. Nomad gloves, radiated damage. Not particularly fan of those. We don't need a green preacher outfit. Um, yeah, so the robotic, the blue robotic drone and these are are the prizes of the evening. And we got two legendary parts too, which is always nice. Very cool. Um, and they did not, I mean, <laughs> were there any zombies down here? Good Lord, there's hardly any damage. We got some damage there. Wow, this is less damaged overall, though, than last week was. 
And I and I even um, waited a little bit longer to blow them up than I did last week. Oh, you know what, though? We had no demos. That's why. Yeah, that's right. We had no demolishers. That explains it. Okay. I don't remember hearing any zombies hitting on anything up above, so I don't even think we need to repair anything at all up above. Um, and I, I'm not going to repair up the chute this time because... I didn't really even need to do it last time. It was very, very minimal damage. So we'll probably only do that, oh, I don't know, every other Horde night or something like that. So, yeah, I mean, I and all of our doors are intact. That one got banged up, but it's still there. So, yeah, very cool. Um, all right, guys. So what I'm going to do is um, get all this stuff loaded up into the 4 by, and then come back down here and just repair all this and then be done with it. And we don't have to worry about it for the rest of the week. Let's go get our four by here. I hear a spider zombie over here. Yeah, I did. Okay, so uh, let's put four stacks of 762 in here. Oh, I also want to get the this spare blue shovel out and we'll just keep that in here. And we don't need this. Okay. And then um let's grab you. And we'll read these magazines. Shotgun auto turret two. We can make a level three magnum. Okay, nice. We can make sensors. Okay, yeah, that was the thing I was talking about, about maybe setting one of those up at our front gate to sound an alarm. Um, you know, when the zombies are there, because I, I, I can't always hear them if I'm in the back. Okay, we have seven tacticals. See what this gets us for M60. Quality four, will we get quality five? No. Okay, so we're at quality four on the M60s. Nice. All right. Let's put all of this stuff in here. Uh, yeah, all of this can go in there. I want to put a couple extra... I mean, this is not a gun base at all, but still, you know, I just want to, just to be on the safe side, I want to have some extra ammo in case the shit hit the fan in some way that I was unexpecting, you know? Not expecting, I should say. Yeah, all of that can go in there. And then what we'll do is, uh, do you, what do you have? Do you have all the rest of the explosives? I don't remember what I put in you. Yes, you do. Okay. Let's just take all of that from Roberta. And we'll keep all of the nades in here. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. We'll keep four stacks. Okay, so we have 111 grenades and 13 molotovs. So I'll just have to remember that. We have one learning elixir and two atom junkies. So we're going to want to... I can make those, right? So I'm going to want to make four. So we, we went through three. Yeah, so we went through three of those. We just need three Adam Junkies and three Grandpas in a given Horde night. Um, I'm going to take the rocket and launcher and the frags back with us because, you know, we're going to we're going to be doing harder and harder POIs, and we might actually make use of of that kind of thing. Let's get this stuff all situated again. Um, I suppose I could leave some medical here so I don't have to bring it out later. So let's leave a stack of those. Um, basically all of this stuff here. And we need uh, some of these for lacerations, which I still have not gotten a single laceration in this entire playthrough, which is a good thing. I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing it out. It's kind of weird. Okay, so that uh, leaves medical in here, so we don't have to worry about bringing that next time. So we really probably only need to make, you know, 100 more grenades and maybe a stack and a half 
more of Molotovs, and that's it. So that's pretty easy. It won't take very long at all to do. Okay, let's sort all of that. And um, all right, we'll run back down and get... Oh, I need to turn off the Jenny too. And I don't... Uh, we don't have any broken um, fits posts. Because if we did, we'd hear them go, you know, arcing out right now. So that's also good. There are... Oh, well, yeah, they're damaged. Of course, the, you know, that's to be expected because... They take damage each time they're hit, but none of them are, like, completely broken, which is good. Uh, but I'll come back and fix those later. I want to get the rest of the, this loot up. Yeah, guys, so here's the thing about this base. It's uh, it's absolutely amazing and incredibly effective, but it's also kind of boring, too. <laughs> I mean, it, it's not boring, really, to me because of the fact that I'm getting so much XP from it, so that uh, alone... I mean, I enjoy that, right? But I fear that it might start getting a little boring for you guys to watch every time. So we might um, we might rethink. Uh, well, we're not going to rethink this base. This base is perfect. You know, we're not doing anything with this base. But we might try, you know, a couple other horde base designs just for the hell of it before this series is over. But you know, let me know in the comments. It, it are you guys enjoying this base um, and enjoying the horde nights just by virtue of the fact once again that how effective it is uh, and let me know because you know if you're all saying no keep using it then i'll keep using it if i was just playing this by myself and i wasn't doing youtube videos i, I would just keep using the space because why not it's an xp farm you know but yeah just give me a little feedback on that and let me know what you guys think but anyway i think that's it for all of the loot so i'm gonna haul um all of this back up to the truck and then i'm gonna come back down here and do the repairs and then in the next episode, we'll just get back to uh, to doing jobs and, and seeing if we can get to Tier 5. We're probably probably pretty close to Tier 5, I would think. We've been doing a lot of Tier 4s. So, um, so we've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and we have an 8th. I think, isn't 8th the last one? Uh, and before you, you know, move on, I don't know. But we'll just keep pumping that out. Um, and we'll hit tier five and then that's when things are really going to start getting interesting and I'm very much looking forward to it for sure. Oh, points, right. Um, as the horde night was going by, I, I think I changed my mind. Um, meaning that I think I want to just go ahead and get, um, uh, what is this fortitude maxed out right now and just be done with it because, you know, we're going to probably need to really rely upon machine gunner. Um, as well as auto shotgun, you know, when we really get into these tier fives and these really nasty um, uh, uh, POIs, right? And jobs and, you know, having maxed out pain tolerance and healing factor is also going to help our survivability significantly. So uh, we're going to just go ahead and get fortitude maxed out. So we can go uh, do spend two points there, three points there. And then we just need to earn two more points. And, and look, we're already almost to the next point. And we're just going to naturally max out fortitude without worrying about, you know, like implants or anything like that. And then we don't have to ever worry about it again. So that is the plan for that. And then we'll come back to agility later and keep working on that for the ones that I had mentioned earlier. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.